Marissa Cato Cortez, and she is a mom of two, pregnant with her third, and a Democrat voter. And Cindy Lee is a mom of four, and she's a Republican voter. I'm going to start with you, Cindy. Uh, talk to me about education and any other mm -hmm. issues that you think are going to be at top of mind when you go to the ballot box this midterms. Good morning, Rachel. Happy morning. Easter and happy, happy Easter. Passover to you and all your viewers. So for me, parents want transparency, accountability, and having a voice in their kids' education, as we saw with the Virginia race and also school board recalls all over nationwide. Parents are pushing back at what's being taught to their kids inside the classroom. Um, they're pushing back on critical race theory and radical gender ideology, and their kids being taught sex education at an early age. Also, with the damage of the lockdowns, um, forcing kids to wear masks, and in California, Governor Newsom intends to make the experimental vaccine a requirement for kids to attend school. So we've seen a massive drop in enrollment in the public education system. In California, last year, our math numbers, eighth graders are scoring on average as fifth graders. So we want to steer away from teaching our kids left wokeism and focus on academics. So I think the primary things going to this election is to elect candidates who support parents' rights, or candidates who are not endorsed by the teachers' unions, um, candidates who support election integrity, and governors who do not abuse their emergency power. Wonderful. Um, I think you're channeling a lot of moms when you talk about parental rights. Marissa, is parental rights an important issue for you as well as a Democrat voter? Absolutely. I've always been a Democrat because we have believed in the freedom to choose what we want to do, who we want to be, and I really believe that that should trickle into education as well. Here um, in my area, we're also seeing a huge decrease in public school enrollment. and. It has a lot to do with many different factors, but I really do believe that parents on both sides are united when it comes to educating their children. We may believe in different ways um, of how to do that, but parental rights are extremely important. And I think that you're going to see parties on both sides come out and support that. Yeah, I think it's so fascinating that this has become a bipartisan issue. Um, parents want more control. I'm going to stick with you for just a second, Marissa, because you also told us that sure. climate change is a, still a big issue for you. At the same time, you're really concerned about gas prices. So tell me how you're reconciling that since top economists are saying that the gas prices are directly related to climate change policies like shutting down our oil and gas industry. Well, I don't believe in shutting down the oil and gas industry. My husband does work um, in the oil industry. I think that we have to come up with different ways than just opening our reserves because that's not going to be a long-term solution. Right. And as much as I would love to believe that electric cars are the answer, they're not. The batteries are proven to be just as harmful um, to our environment and to our climate. And I think we kind of need to take a look at the picture as a whole. You know. We saw a massive drop in fuel emissions when people were working from home in a hybrid work environment. There was much less stress on our planet. So I think we need to take a look maybe outside the box instead of just focusing on the one issue of, well, we have to get rid of gas, we have to get rid of this, we have to get rid of all of these things that are causing harm to our planet. But that, yeah. those may not be the only answers. Oh, I love um, so your I think that Marissa, I love your creative thinking <laughs> on that. And I think for moms in particular, that kind of hybrid um, work environment is very family friendly. I think you're onto something. And I, I really like common sense Democrats like you. Um, I'm, I'm liking that. Uh, so I'm going to end with you, Susan. Uh, I mean, uh, Cindy, tell me exactly your thoughts on inflation. And how is that um, affecting your vote coming in November? So um, I agree. I don't think that this should be a partisan issue. I think that it should be about parents' choice. Uh, it's important for us to have freedom and parents' choice and parents deciding what's best for the kids. Parents know what's best for their children. So they're paying close attention. And it's not just on the congressional race. It's looking at the governor. It's looking at the local races, such as city council, your judges. Judges are so important, who you elect on the bench, as well as the school board, the school board trustees. In uh, Orange County, we're electing Mary Barkey for the Orange County Board of Education seat. And um, we're looking at you know, what's best for our kids. I think that's most important to both sides of the party. Wow, it's such a perfect message for Easter. I see so much bipartisanship on this panel of Republican and a Democrat mom. Um, I think common sense rules the day today. So thank you so much for joining us both today. Thank you for having me on thank the you. show. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.